Hello everyone and welcome to Lot of Tech once again. So iPhones have always been the point of interest whether you are the one who use an iPhone or you are someone like me who don't use an iPhone. So a couple of days back one of you have requested me to start making videos on the upcoming smartphones. So I thought why not to start with the iPhone 11. So here are my opinions on the iPhone 11 and in this video we'll be talking about what are the renders, rumors and leaks so far and what you can expect from the upcoming device. Let's begin with the video. So talking about the camera system, the iPhone 11 will be having a triple camera setup and that's kind of a very much confirmed with all the leaks that we are getting on web. But what's not confirmed is that what would be the arrangement of these three cameras. So the first we have a square shaped camera system which in my opinion looks very ugly and awkward just like the notch. Then we have the iPhone 10 like camera system where the three cameras will be placed vertically and under that you will get a flash and then we have one of the most authentic leak where it shows a triple camera system placed exactly at the center now you might think that at the center it's actually an led flash but it's actually a ai camera which has been completely re redesigned by apple so now talking about the colors if you look at this latest leak regarding the iphone 11 it will be getting launched in four different colors the gold silver space gray and blue and maybe later on uh, you will definitely get an iphone 11 in red color because that's what apple has been doing with all its previous generation phones now talking about the notch i was expecting the iphone 11 to have a notchless display and my reasons behind those expectations was companies like oppo vivo and mi who are continuously pushing their phones towards the notchless displays and increasing the screen to body ratio but unfortunately iphone 11 will be having a notch and but that notch will be a little bit smaller than the iphone 10 but yes in future Apple is getting some kind of patents regarding the in-display fingerprint scanner and also uh, the notchless displays but those kind of phones will be launching in 2020 maybe the iPhone 12 but not the iPhone 11. So now talking about the specifications and generally we don't talk about specs when it comes to iPhones. So the new iPhone 11 is expected to have a 7 nanometer A13 chip. Earlier it was said that a A11 chip would be put into the phones that would be having 6 core but that idea is kind of dropped now. Then the phone will be having a 4000 mAh of battery which is more or less confirmed. Apart from that the phone will be available in 3 different variants maybe the iPhone 11, iPhone 11R and iPhone 11S Max. Apart from that, it was also rumored that Apple was testing some kind of new USB ports and some kind of new chargers for the iPhone 11 but that idea is kind of dropped now and now you will be getting the standard USB A type of charger which is a 5W charger that would be compatible with the iPhone 11 as well as with the iPad Pro. The new iPhone 11 may be having some kind of subscription services that would be connected to the Netflix and also Apple is testing some kind of new 5G modem so you can expect the phone to have 5G compatibility. Apart from that the new iPhone 11 will be having the new iOS 13 that would be having dark mode. So friends this was all about the iPhone 11 and until the phone gets launched in September 2019 uh, all different sorts of leaks, rumors and renders will keep on pouring in and a lot of things will definitely change. So we'll try to keep you updated about all these things. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.